Welcome back to the Real Story channel. Amanda came to the realization that she was pregnant and made efforts to conceal it from everyone, including her parents. She even sought help from Oma and Hugo to terminate the pregnancy, but their attempts were unsuccessful. Eventually, her mother noticed and confronted her about it. At first, Amanda denied it, but later she had to confess the truth. Once upon a time, in a small village embraced by nature, resided a girl named Amon. Amanda, renowned for her beauty that illuminated the entire place like a radiant star, was the cherished only child of her loving parents. Her father was a diligent farmer, and her mother possessed weaving skills that turned fabric into something magical. In this village, where each sunrise brought new tales, Amanda stood out as a story of her own. From the elders sitting beneath the baobab tree to the children playing near the stream, everyone knew and admired Amanda. It was not merely her physical appearance that captivated them, but also the kindness that sparkled in her eyes. Travelers passing through the village for trade or travel couldn't help but notice Amanda's presence, often leaving gifts, coins, and trinkets as if touched by her grace. Amanda's parents, though leading simple lives, treated her like royalty, envisioning a future where she would find a love as grand as the tales shared by traveling bards. They hoped she would encounter a man who possessed not only handsomeness but also a kind heart, someone who would cherish their precious daughter just as they did. In this village, where each day flowed as gently as a river, Amanda's life was simple yet filled with warmth. She assisted her mother in weaving and occasionally accompanied her father to the fields. Her laughter resonated like a melodious tune in the hearts of those who heard it. This is the tale of Amanda, the precious gem of the village, whose life was about to take an unexpected turn. It is a story of beauty, choices, and the enigmatic paths that life unveils. Let us accompany her on this journey and witness where the winds of destiny will guide her. Not far from Amanda's dwelling, in the same village, resided two girls named Oma and Hugo. They hailed from affluent families, and their opulence earned them widespread respect. Adorned in the most expensive garments and possessing possessions that even the most industrious farmer couldn't afford, they refrained from befriending other girls due to their perceived superiority. As Amanda reached the age of 15, her beauty became even more captivating, attracting the attention of everyone in the village. One day, while Oma and Hugo were sitting by the stream, engrossed in laughter and conversation, Amanda approached to fetch water. As she did with everyone, Amanda courteously greeted them. Just as she was about to depart with her water, Oma and Hugo called out to her and expressed their desire to be her friends. Overwhelmed with joy at this unforeseen offer of friendship from the most esteemed girls in the village, Amanda rushed home, eager to share the news with her mother. Her mother, wise and thoughtful, attentively listened to Amanda's excited chatter. While she smiled, she also cautioned her daughter, reminding her that they did not possess the same affluence as Oma and Hugo. She warned Amanda to be cautious, as her new friends might attempt to change her. She advised her daughter to remain true to herself and her values, despite the allure of this new world. However, Amanda's excitement overshadowed any concerns. She couldn't contain her thrill at the prospect of befriending Oma and Hugo. Consequently, she started spending more time with them, engaging in outings, play, and exploration throughout the village. Amanda's life began to transform as she entered a realm different from the simplicity she had always known. As the days went by, Amanda found herself increasingly immersed in the lives of her new friends, drawn into a world that shimmered with wealth but, perhaps, lacked the brilliance it initially appeared to possess. This marked the commencement of a new chapter in Amanda's life, one that would lead her down uncharted paths she had never fathomed. Amanda, Amma, and Hugo became inseparable friends, and one day, they heard about a grand festival taking place in a neighboring village. Oma and Hugo were thrilled and urged Amanda to join them. Initially hesitant, Amanda pondered her parents' expectations and the modest life she was accustomed to. However, 
Mama and Hugo's persuasive words painted vivid pictures of the joy and excitement awaiting them at the festival. They advised Amanda that she was old enough to make her own decisions and didn't need to share everything with her parents. Gradually, Amanda's initial hesitation transformed into curiosity, and after contemplating it, she agreed to accompany them. It was her first time attending such a significant event without her parents. At the festival, Amanda attracted the attention of many men due to her beauty. Initially, she was reluctant to engage with them, but Oma and Hugo encouraged her, emphasizing her beauty and the power it held. Consequently, Amanda started conversing with them. During the festival, a prince noticed Amanda and expressed his desire to meet her. They had a pleasant conversation and connected well. After meeting the prince, Amanda's perspective changed, and she started contemplating a different life from the one she knew in her village. She enjoyed the attention and the new lifestyle her friends introduced to her. This festival altered Amanda, making her act more confidently but also somewhat arrogantly. The respectful village girl began to experience a new life that distanced her from her humble beginnings. Following the festival, Amanda underwent significant changes, becoming more confident but also displaying a sense of arrogance. She started going out without informing her parents and sometimes disregarded the village elders. The once polite and respectful Amanda began to behave differently. On Amanda's 16th birthday, the entire village celebrated her beauty, just as they did every year. Numerous gifts were bestowed upon her by the villagers. However, a man named Chima arrived a day after her birthday, bearing gifts. Chima was handsome, wealthy, tall, and fair, making him a desirable prospect for many women in the village. Chima began visiting Amanda frequently, and she enjoyed his company. During this time, Amanda's parents grew suspicious of Chima's frequent visits and cautioned her to stay away from him. However, her arrogance had consumed her, and she declared herself a grown woman capable of making her own decisions. One scorching afternoon, Chima visited Amanda and took her to his house, far from her parents' home. He treated her well, and they spent a significant amount of time together. That day, something happened that changed everything. They became intimate. Shortly after, Amanda discovered that she was pregnant. She attempted to conceal her pregnancy from everyone, including her parents. She sought assistance from Oma and Hugo to terminate the pregnancy, but their efforts were unsuccessful. Eventually, Amanda's mother noticed and confronted her about it. At first, Amanda denied it, but later she had to confess the truth. When her parents discovered the truth, they were disappointed and felt disgraced. The villagers, who had once admired Amanda and showered her with gifts, distanced themselves. Amanda felt ashamed and lost. She tried to reach out to Chima, but he had already left the village. Feeling betrayed and alone, Amanda's friends, Oma and Hugo, also abandoned her, claiming no involvement in her pregnancy. The girl who was once the pride of the village now faced the most challenging period of her life. She had to live with the consequences of her choices, far from the simple and joyful life she once knew. News of her pregnancy spread rapidly throughout the village, isolating Amanda. The community, which had previously celebrated her, now viewed her with judgment and engaged in gossip. Shima, the father of her child, had abandoned her and left the village. Amanda felt betrayed by him, as she had trusted his promises only to be left alone when she needed him the most. Additionally, her friends, Oma and Hugo, turned their backs on her, denying any involvement. This abandonment increased her pain and loneliness. As her pregnancy progressed, Amanda faced the reality of her situation. She would become a young mother without the support of the child's father, in a community that no longer regarded her the same way. The respect and admiration she once enjoyed were replaced by judgment and isolation. 
Amanda's story teaches valuable lessons, the importance of making choices wisely, the influence of the company we keep, the consequences of our actions, the significance of inner qualities over external appearances, and the opportunity for redemption and growth, even after making mistakes. Thank you for watching, see you in the next videos.